Hello, welcome. Today I have for you a sequence for the hips and the legs. We'll be working on our mobility, flexibility and strength to help you. Maybe you're working on your split pose or actually you're just looking to improve your general mobility in your day-to-day -day activities. Then this sequence will certainly help you open up those hips and legs. So when you're ready, we'll get started. We'll begin with a round of sun salutations just to warm up the body and start opening up the muscles. So standing at the top of our mats with our toes together, kneecaps pull up, quads engaged, pulling the belly in and tucking that tailbone down and rolling the shoulders on the back. Inhale, taking the arms out and up. Exhaling, hinging from the hips, we'll dive forwards, generous bending the knees into a forward fold. Inhale, lengthen through the legs, nice flat back into your half lift. Exhaling, planting the palms into the mat, we can step it back to a plank and moving through knees, chest and chin or chaturanga, keep the knees up, elbows in. Inhaling, upward facing dog. Exhaling, taking it back to your downward facing dog. And we can paddle the feet here, take your dog for a walk. Stretch out those legs. One more breath. On our next inhale, look in between the hands. We can walk to step or jump the feet in between. Coming in to a half lift, nice flat back. Exhaling, folding forwards, generous bend in the knees. Inhaling, we'll come all the way back up to standing, arms out and up. Exhale, hands come down in prayer. Great. Then stepping back, the left foot about three paces. So we have a short stance between those toes and we can grab hold of a block. If we don't have a block, we can grab hold of a book, a book, sorry or we can roll up a blanket just to place under the balls of the right foot, flexing those toes up towards the ceiling and squaring the hips to the front of the mats. We'll bring the arms behind the back and hold onto those elbows. As we inhale, lengthen through the spine, exhale, hinging from the hips, we'll fold it forwards over the front leg, coming into our pyramid. Inhale, lengthen back up to standing. And we'll do that again. Exhale, folding forwards, lengthening through the spine. Inhaling, coming back up to standing. Beautiful, one last time. Exhaling, folding forwards. Inhaling, lengthen. Then this time, as we exhale and fold forwards, we'll hold it here for a few breaths. So we're nice and lengthened through the spine. The back of the neck is long. Tuck the chin in. Nice deep breaths. And then we'll pulse it out a little bit here. So we'll inhale, lift up a little bit, exhale, pulse. Again, two, three, four, five. Inhale, come all the way back up to standing. We can release those arms, maybe shake them out a little, and we can switch feet. So we'll place the balls of the left foot onto, on top of that block or book or blanket with that right foot back about three paces making sure we're nice and comfortable. We can bring those arms behind the back, hold onto the elbows and square the hips to the front of the mat. Inhaling, flexing those toes up, exhaling, folding forwards. Inhale, come back up to standing. Exhaling, fold. Inhale, lift. Exhaling, folding forwards. Inhaling, lengthen. And then this time we'll hold it there. Exhale, fold it forwards. Holding here in our pyramid. 
Again, the back of the neck is long. Hips square to the front of the mat. A nice deep breath. And again, we'll pulse it out. So we'll inhale, lift up, exhale, lower. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, come all the way back up to standing. We can release those arms, shake them out again. And we can just step the feet to one side, pop that block out of the way as well. Beautiful. Then bring in the hips, sorry, the feet about hip width apart. We'll add another nice dynamic stretch to open up those quads and hamstrings. So as we exhale, we'll bend the knees and sink the hips down, coming into our malasana or yogi squat. Those arms come into the inside of the legs. Beautiful. We can always place a block underneath the sit bones for a little bit of support if we can't quite um, comfortably sit in our malasana. Otherwise, we can also place some blocks underneath those heels if the heels don't come quite to sit on the ground. So just preparing ourselves before we add our dynamic flow, whether we're using blocks or not. Great. Inhaling, placing those palms in front. As we inhale, we'll lift up the hips as high as we can, coming into a forward fold. Exhaling, sinking the hips back down into our malasana. Beautiful, we'll do that two more times. Inhale, lift up the hips, lengthen through the legs. Exhaling, folding it down, bringing the sit bones down. Beautiful, one more time. Inhale, planting the palms into the mat, lifting those hips up high. Exhaling, sinking the hips back down. Well, malasana. Beautiful. And then we'll just stay here for a few breaths. Opening up those hips, maybe some little sways from side to side, if that feels nice. And then we can just reach over into our downward facing dog or find your own way back to your downward facing dog we can paddle the feet here stretch it out then on our next inhale we'll lift up the left foot and step it between the hands coming into our high lunge and we can either keep pressing the fingers into the mat or we can grab hold of our blocks to place the hands on top that back leg is active, we're nice and strong and the back of the knee is shining up to the ceiling. And again, we'll add in some dynamic stretches. Taking a breath in, inhale, exhale, gently lower that knee down towards the mat, just hovering it above the mat, inhaling, lengthen, exhaling, lower, inhale, lengthen. Exhaling, lowering that knee down, hovering above the mat. Inhale, lengthen. Beautiful. Exhale, we can drop, gently drop that back knee down and untuck those toes. And we can either keep the palms on our blocks here or we can pop aside. As we inhale, we'll lengthen through the front leg, flexing those toes up to the ceiling, coming into a half flip. Exhale, we'll sink back in to that front foot. A couple more times. Inhale, lengthen. Exhaling, leaning back in. One last time. Inhaling, lengthening through the front leg, flexing those toes up. Exhaling, sinking back in to our lunge. Popping one of the popping of the blocks aside, we'll plant the right palm down or maybe the fingertips. Or actually, sorry, we can keep hold of a block in the right hand if we need. As we inhale, we'll sweep the left arm up and over, bending that back knee, reaching for that back foot for a nice stretch in those quads. If we need, we can always grab hold of a strap and we can. Gently place that behind the foot 
then we can use the hands, maybe the right hand, to pull in that foot further to the quads. Pulling that strap up over the shoulder. Beautiful. Feeling that deep stretch. One more breath. Exhaling, we can gently release the strap and the foot down to the mat, nice and slowly. Then popping that block aside, we'll walk the left foot out to the side a little so that we can bring both the hands to the inside of the foot. Tucking the back toes under, lifting that knee again. We'll rock it backwards and forwards again. We're opening up the hips. So we'll inhale, rock forwards. Exhaling, gently rock it back. Inhale, press into those toes to rock forwards. Exhale, back. One more, inhale. Exhaling, rocking back. And then we can gently drop that knee down and rest here in our lizard pose. So we can keep planting the palms into the mats. If we have a block, we can bring the forearms down to rest on the block. Or maybe we can bring the forearms all the way down to the mats. And wherever we are, nice deep breaths. One more breath. Inhaling, we can come back up onto the palms. We'll walk the foot back to the center, planting the palms into the mat, tucking the back toes under and lifting that back knee, stepping it back to our downward facing dog. And we can stretch out, paddle the feet. And then we'll get ourselves ready to do the same on the right side. So we'll inhale, bend the right knee, step it between the hands. Keeping that back knee up, we'll grab hold of our blocks, coming into our high lunge. Beautiful. When we feel nice and comfortable, that back leg is active. Exhale, we'll gently drop that knee down, hovering just above the mat. Inhale, lengthen that leg. Exhaling, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhaling, lower. Inhale, lift, engaging those quads. Exhaling, we can gently drop that back knee down. We can keep the palms on our blocks if we need, or we can pop those aside and we'll move through our half split flow. So we'll inhale, lengthen through that front leg, flexing the toes up to the ceiling. Exhaling, leaning back into your low lunge. Inhale, lengthen to your half split. Exhaling, sinking. One last time. Inhale, lengthen. Exhaling, sinking back in. Great. Then keeping the right part, sorry, the left palm into the mat. Or we can place our hand on a block again, just to elevate a little. We'll inhale, sweep the right arm up and over, bending that back knee and reaching for that foot. Preferably holding onto the ankle so we can flex that foot to stretch that quad even deeper. Remember, we can grab hold of our straps. A nice deep breath. One more breath. Exhaling gently, letting go of that foot, bringing it back down to the mat as slow as we can with control. Exhale, windmill. That hand back round to the front. We can pop our blocks aside for a moment. Walking that right foot out to the side so that we can bring both the hands to the inside of the foot. Tucking those toes under, lifting the back knee. We'll rock it out in our lizards again. So as we inhale, lengthen forwards, exhale, rocking back. 
Inhale. Exhaling. One last time. Inhale, rocking forwards. Exhaling gently. Coming back. Beautiful. We can gently drop that back knee down and untuck those toes. And we can rest again in our lizard pose, whether that be on the palms, our block, or gently coming down onto the forearms. Nice deep breaths. One more breath. On our next inhale, coming back up onto the palms. We'll walk that right foot back to the center, planting the palms into the mat. We'll tuck the back toes under, lift that knee, and we'll step it back to our downward facing dog again. And we can paddle the feet, stretch out the legs. Then on our next exhale, gently bringing the knees down to the mat. We can untuck the toes. Come to sit up on your heels. Bring the hips to one side and we'll lengthen both the legs around in front. And we'll just bring ourselves down to lying on our backs. So just casually finding your way down. Ah, great. Once we're down, we can hug both the knees into the chest and give yourself a nice hug. Maybe a quick rock from side to side just to massage that lower back. Then bringing the soles of the feet back down onto your mat. The knees stay together, but we'll shimmy out the feet to the sides of the mat. So bringing the soles of the feet to the edges of your mat, knees stay together, and we can rest one hand on the belly, one hand on the heart space. And we'll just rest here for a moment to decompress in that lower back, in the hips. Maybe closing your eyes here, connecting with your breath. Allowing the mind and body to slow down and relax here. One more breath. On our next inhale, we can hug both the knees into the chest. Give yourself a nice hug. Then using your core and a strong exhale, we can rock ourselves back up to sitting. Great. Thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed that little flow. Hopefully we feel a lot more open and mobile in our hips now, ready for our day or week ahead of us. Please remember to like the video, save for later so you can come back again, leave a comment in the comments below and subscribe, subscribe to my channel for more weekly yoga content. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Namaste.